Hey guys, Mr. Klein here, and we are talking about our third lesson in this chapter. We're talking about the inventions of the Sumerians. After all, they were the world's first civilization, so it stands to consider that they probably invented a lot of things since they were the first people around. So let's look into what they were doing. Now, the Sumerians made one of the most important inventions, and we're going to talk about a lot of what they did. But the most important invention probably was their writing. They invented writing, and their type of writing is what we call cuneiform. Cuneiform use symbols to represent basic parts of words. And here's an example of early cuneiform. As you can see, we have these shapes, and these individual shapes mean certain word parts. And so when you put them together, you make words, kind of like our alphabet, which we'll talk about the invention of the alphabet in the final lesson in this chapter. So cuneiform, they did invent writing, the Sumerians did, but they didn't invent paper. So we were able to keep this cuneiform because it was writing was done by making wedge-shaped symbols on a piece of clay made by a sharp reed. So what they would do is they would take a reed, they would sharpen it into a wedge, and they would push it into the wet clay, and they would let the clay dry. And from there, uh, the writing would be saved. And as a result, we were able to keep lots of records of cuneiform. In fact, if you look online for cuneiform records, you can even see things such as receipts for amount of food received, purchases, and things like that. And they were used for keeping records for business as well as for governments and temples. And over time, it got more and more advanced. And as you can see in this picture right here, this cuneiform is done real small, and this was actually a sign for something in a business. Now, over time, cuneiform developed from pictographs and pictographs are picture forms that represented objects into more complex symbols that represented word parts. So as you can see in this early cuneiform sample right here, it looks like pictures of things. Whereas in this one later on, these pictures start to form things sort of like letters. And that's the movement of cuneiform from simple pictographs into complex symbols uh, that stood for word parts on their own. Now, very few Sumerians actually knew how to read or write. The ability to read or write was considered to be very special. So unlike you who are in school learning about the Sumerians, if you were your average Sumerian, you would never learn about how to read or write. In fact, that was someone's job. And their job, the professional writers were known as scribes. And their job, they would go to school and they would learn how to write, and their job was to sit there and write their entire lives and be able to read what it said. The job paid well and allowed a scribe to move up in social class. Usually scribes were considered middle class, like the merchants and high crafts people and things like that, as opposed to a farmer who was lower on there, if you remember from the last lesson. And scribes wrote, wrote all sorts of things, law, uh, grammatical teachings, uh, business, things like that, even long poems that we call epics. And the most famous one is the Epic of Gilgamesh, which talks about a Sumerian hero. Uh, so they were able to write the poems that had been spoken, giving them a written record. And in fact, most of what we know about the Sumerians comes from how we were able to study cuneiform and actually understand what they were writing. And speaking of things that Sumerians did, let's talk about some of their inventions. Okay, they had many they did many things as an advanced civilization. So here's some of them. First, they invented the first wheeled vehicles, like carts and wagons. Okay, so they were the ones who invented the wheel. They also invented the potter's wheel, speaking of wheels, which allowed the potters to make bowls or pots. So that's how they were able to make pottery quickly and efficiently. They invented the ox-drawn plow, which made farming easier, allowed it to cut open the soil much easier than by hand or with a stick. In cities, they built sewers under city streets to drain waste and rainwater. So instead of dumping out your waste out onto the street, the sewers and the rain, uh, rainwater would catch it and push it out into the river. They even developed the first real metal mixtures, versus bronze, a mixture of copper and other metals. And they developed the first metal tools and weapons. And in fact, this invention of bronze is really important because in some historical books, you see talking about the Bronze Age. And the Bronze Age simply starts with when the Sumerians develop bronze. And then we move on into the Iron Age and stuff like that. Here's an example of a Sumerian bronze statue of an ox-drawn plow. So you see the simple plow is being pulled by an oxen, and the farmer is guiding the plow, cutting in there. So we have bronze, we have a plow, we have a domestication of animal, and we have a farmer. That's pretty much everything we've talked about in this chapter, just in one picture. 
They also named animals, developed healing drugs, the clock, and even the first calendar. So when you're the first civilization, obviously you have a lot of stuff to invent because you've got a lot of things to do because you're busy inventing it. And so, really, the Sumerians did a lot of things other than just invent. They were experts in architecture, the science and building. And if you remember from the last lesson, we talked about the large pyramid building at the center of the city-state called the Ziggurat. And which at the top of the ziggurat was where the Sumerians believed that their local god lived. And as you remember, I showed you where on Google Earth, like the great ziggurat of Ur and what it looked like. Now, most Sumerians in cities lived in small one-story houses, probably about the size of your classroom or even smaller. And the rooms of these different houses surrounded a courtyard where dried I, I, where they dried items that were wet, like cuneiform tablets or... Uh, farm things and things like that or cooked out in the open. Now Sumerian art is famous. It's known for sculptures and jewelry such as statues of gods for the temples. And here's some examples of Sumerians uh, of gods and other people. As you can see they really liked eyes. Uh, they really emphasized that in their sculptures. And they also created jewelry and they imported gold from other uh, civilizations later on. Gold, silver, fine stools, such as advanced samples of earrings that include advanced settings much like we would see in our earrings today. And here's an example of Sumerian headwear and jewelry. Very advanced uh, and the metal working for, as you can see, and this example was in the British Museum in London. Uh, but as you can see, the jewelry is made showing a lot of craftsmanship and a lot of imagination and ability to do this. Now, one other thing was the Sumerians developed a special device that combined art and cuneiform that we talked about earlier into one thing. And that's what we call a cylinder seal. This device was engraved with designs, much like the cuneiform that you would see up here. So it would have this cuneiform or the designs and stuff all on a cylinder and what they would do is they would roll it over the clay and it would put a pattern they could put in the pottery or even advanced cylinder seals were even used as seals to sign documents much like a signature saying like the king or somebody agreed to it they would just roll the cylinder seal on the piece of clay to signify that the person read and understood what was going on so that's Sumerian inventions. Uh, the biggest thing was, of course, cuneiform, the form of writing, starting out with these things that we call pictographs and advancing to wedge-shaped uh, word parts, which over time would advance through another civilization called the Phoenicians into the alphabet. Uh, so they invented writing. Uh, the people who wrote them were called scribes. That was a professional job. And they invented lots of things like wheeled vehicles, potter wheels, plots, plows, sewers, bronze statues, they named animals, created medicine, clocks, and the calendar, too. So there you go. That's the inventions of Sumerians. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. And thank you for watching.